Hey guys, Kev here. And I got an unboxing to do for you. So I actually have four packages here. I'm going to do them one by one, I think, just because I talk too much. Um, so let's get into this one. This one's sent to me by Tianbo Gao. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, it's out of Virginia. So I think it's um, a fidget toy of some sort. It's mostly what I have here today, I think. So get ready for some fidget toy videos. This is the Renegade Provisions Co. G-O-M, or the God of Mischief. Got this prototype in the other day, actually yesterday, and whoo I'm excited. I really, really like it. And I uh, pre-ordered two, so I am glad I did. If you have not, you can go to the website and actually pre-order these still. 350 bones. It's made by Riot M390, Micarta, Titanium. Uh, very, very well made. Uh, very comfortable in hand. Great action. Just a great piece. Uh, so I'm excited to get the uh, production version. And let's see what we got. Okay. It's taped. Very well. Ugh. Had to beast mode that one. Oh, wait. Something else in here. All right. Okay. There we go. Let's put away. Well, we might need it. What's this thing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what this is. Oh, you know what I think this is? Okay. So, I think this is from EDC Long, L-O-O-N-G, EDC Long, L-O-O-N-G. It's a Facebook group and a website, and they were promoting this new coin. It was called a Ratchet coin. I think it was called the, uh, shit, was it called the, the Heartstone or something, number two. And it's, a, it's not magnets, so like you guys know, I have a few haptic coins right and the way these work is there's magnets right and a, a roller bearing track and a little pivot central pivot and then it jumps from magnet to magnet which makes the sound well this is actually a ratchet system instead so here it is this is the uh 2.0 or something like that and I don't know what improvements they made, but you can see here, it tells you to go this way. So you can only turn it one way, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. So. Hmm. Here's my problem. It essentially makes it a right-handed item. Because I'm left-handed, and the way I do the coins is, right, I'm turning it this way. This is how you do it right-handed, and this is how you do it left-handed. So this makes it not work for me. I don't know if you can flip it over would be the way I'd like to do it. So this is the mechanism, so to speak. Forget what I paid for this, but I think it was relatively expensive. I mean, I think I paid like 150 bucks or something for it. It is titanium, I'm pretty sure. Actually. Yeah. I know it's not aluminum. So then there's a little uh, thingy mabobber in the center there we can try to undo. Let's grab something. Grab my Vero Fulcrum and see if I can get in there. This is a pry bar, by the way. Let's see if I can't. Yeah, there we go. I think it you can replace the ratchet system and make it stronger or weaker, right? Please tell me I don't have to take off both sides. Hey, look, now it goes, no, oh, no, okay. Get it, right, come on. Uh, 
there we go and this is your ratchet and i suppose these are different strengths you can see the difference in the is it right here that there's a difference i don't know Does it say anything on it? it? Doesn't say anything on it. So I need a flathead or a Phillips. So let's get the old handy dandy Vero fulcrum to work. Just curious what it's gonna do replacing it. So naturally, I'm gonna find out. I just gotta remember which way it went in. So it went in with the hole like that, and this thing going that way. I'm guessing it doesn't really matter because you're gonna spin it around so it's gonna catch at some point. So let's try this one. So I remember seeing this was designed by the owner of EDC Long and one other person. They kind of worked together on it or something. And I don't know if they were just trying to do something without magnets. Uh, gives you a different feel or something like that. All right, so... Oh, that is completely different. I don't think tightening this is going to matter, but let's just try it. Right. I think that's tight enough. Can't go this way. No. Sounds really interesting. Hear that? I wonder if I could reverse it and kind of make it a lefty. You know what I mean? So let me just unscrew it easy enough to unscrew by hand just doing this so that's good all right now i'm an idiot because i don't remember which one i took out i think it was this one <laughs> we're gonna find out i guess okay i don't know how interesting this is to you guys but to me it's kind of interesting Wish I could tell what was going to happen and why. Like, I don't see. There's a little bearing in there. Okay, that's cool. Um, I don't see what the differences are. Do you? Let's kind of inspect here. I'll zoom in. Obviously, there's a coloring difference, but... This piece looks the same. This piece looks... I mean, is it thinner? Ah, okay, yeah, it's a little thinner, it looks like. This piece would make it less springy, right? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then this guy would be the, the most springy? These look pretty close, honestly. It's hard to tell a difference. Look at that. They look identical in piece. And this one is the one we just took out. And they all look pretty much identical, to be honest. So, okay, that's the one we took out just now. I don't know which is which, so let's just leave it over here. This one's out. And I'm also going to find out if I can put it in back. Like, if I put it in this way instead of this way, right? This is how they want you to put it in. 
Now, what if I put it in like this? Would it work left-handed then? Would be my question. And I'm sure you guys will tell me how stupid I am in a second, but we'll find out. Come on. Out. thought there was no magnets. <laughs> All right. So again, they want it this way. So I'm going to do it this way. That's where I'm going. My fingers are just not meant for small things. You know what I mean? That's what she said, probably. And the other one is on there, so it's probably going to fall off. Fulcrum comes in clutch, as usual. Fulcrum's by far my favorite sort of pry tool thing. Um, <laughs> nowhere near it. There we go. Um... I don't know why, it just works so much better than anything else I've used, so I just prefer the fulcrum. So here's your sort of pivot situation. Put it back on. And let's see if we can do it backwards. Might not even work, who knows. Might not go together. Oh, so it's not going that way. Yeah, it does not want to work backwards. <laughs> That's for sure. Is it because... Oh, I see. The ratchet system can only go one way. Told you I'm an idiot. So if you turn that, it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to pop in. Okay, I get it. Hey, it was worth a shot. So this is the thing, guys. Some of these things, I, I just assume everything is, with the fidget stuff, I just assumed everything would be, uh, like, ambidextrous so to speak right oh you know what else i didn't realize i was doing it that way i was totally not putting it in the screw holes right so maybe there is a way to do it just have to go like this but no you're just doing the same thing yeah okay so it has to be this way it has to be right-handed essentially you live and you learn peeps But I love how excessively disassembled, disassembled, disassemblable all this stuff is. Um, they make it very uh, friendly for people who like take stuff apart like me. Uh, let's get that together. Put this in, see if I'm doing it wrong or anything. So this one's a little harder to click where the first one, or sorry, this one was like, you could just twist it around everywhere, right? This one's not really any fun. Yeah, I'm not digging that. Uh, to be frank, I'm not digging the thing at all, really. Um, the lefty bias, or the righty bias, and the, I don't know, the non-magnet, it just doesn't seem very... It's not up my alley, so to speak, but we shall continue... <laughs> Okay, let's do this guy. This is probably the one we had in to begin with because I don't remember it feeling like that last one. But who knows?
So this one feels... Yeah, I think it's sort of a medium strength. It makes a very uh, annoying sound, to be honest. Like, it's just not fun. It's the best way for me to put it. I hate to say that. Um, it's just squeaking. Why is it squeaking? Did I do something wrong is what I'm wondering. Like, did I put something together wrong? Because... You can do it left-handed. It's just different. You know, I'm used to doing the sort of finger snap move, right? And this is the opposite. You're just spinning your finger around. Now, right-handed, it's the same. And that's why they did it this way, because it's basically meant for a righty. So, anyway, yeah, that's the uh, the ratchet coin. I forget what it's called. The Hearthstone, I think. Hearthstone. Something like that. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to try to move on from this immediately. Uh, I'm just not into it at all. It does nothing for me. So um, that's how I roll. If something doesn't do it for me, I spent however many dollars on it. Um, you know, usually these things, I need to give them a little time to get used to. And yeah, I could have fun with this, you know. Um, but it's really like piercing my eardrum. Like, it's just not, it sounds like a bird just, like, chirping in my ear constantly. So, yeah, this one just isn't for me, that's all. No big deal. Uh, wait, is this loose? Ah, oh, that was loose. That definitely helped a little bit, tightening this guy. Um, because it was, it felt a little bit more janky in the hand. Now it feels a little more solid. That's good, but it's still making the same sounds. So, yep, there you go. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did you pick up one of these? Are you in the EDC long group? Um, let me know your thoughts on it. I'd be curious to see if anybody else is into it. Um, I am not. So it's just uh, one of those. Doesn't work for me. And that's how it goes. There's things I love that people hate and uh, vice versa. So um, anyway, uh, interesting product. I get it. They're trying to do this without the magnets. But honestly, uh, I don't know why you want to change a good thing because this is cool <laughs> and it feels amazing. The feedback you get is incredible and this it doesn't compare unfortunately so i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later all right hey guys so i wanted to give a quick update on this guy this is the ratchet coin <clears throat> the hearthstone so i've tried all of these coils a couple times and uh it was okay with some of them where it would click a little bit but the sound was like a, a bird squeaking. It was like nails on a chalkboard. It was horrible. Um, so what I did was I was like, hey, what if I take them out? So I took them out completely and it turns into a spinner. So you can hold the uh, screw there, but it's very, uh, it's a small screw. So you don't have a good amount of area really to hang on to. But you can do it this way if you want. I've found just doing it like in your palm. Like that works. Or putting it on the table. Giving it a spin. It goes both ways when you hit. <laughs> so she said it goes both ways if you take the coils out. Um, to be 100% honest, I think this is the best function of this thing. Um, I messaged EDC Long on Facebook and... Um, I feel bad because 
you know, whatever. It's it's a product they put time into and, and, and all of that stuff. So, you know, I hate to be the bad guy because I tend to do that a lot. Um, but see, it's still going. It's got a bearing in there, um, which I always love that they put bearings and stuff like this. And this is why. So you can find other functions for it, right? Um, but anyway, I messaged and I said, hey, I got the coin and I'm a little disappointed. And essentially my feedback was it sounds like screeching like i don't know if that's just this one or if they all sound like that but that's not enjoyable like you want to hear right you want to hear like um plastic bubble wrap pop you don't want to hear you know screeching birds in your ear so that's kind of a big deal and then I said, it, it comes with no packaging. Like, I, I, re, I figured that out um, just now. I was like, what was the, where's the box, right? Um, it didn't come in a box. It came in a little manila envelope. And then it has these three or these two extra coils in it. And where are you supposed to store this? Just, you know, I guess you make a box. Um, maybe that's not common practice in this world. You know, I could, I could be way off base here. But... Um, I want to have a box or a pouch, especially if I spent, I think this was $130 or $150. Um, yeah, it's titanium, but it's just some milled titanium. doesn't have magnets. It's just, you know, it's got the ratchet system in there, which fine, right? Um, but I, I, I think at that price point, I expect a package of some sort. Like, give me a box, right? Give me a pouch. Um, give me one of those little plastic cases that you get with most of these things, right? Um, it just seemed odd that it didn't come with that. Um, so I hate to say it, but it almost feels like a, a bit of a money grab. Like they just wanted to throw a product out there. And I guess essentially at some point, that's what a lot of things are because there's already a good everything. Like you don't really need another thousand fidget toys. So I get it. Um, so I think maybe this one just didn't mesh with me and the screeching just didn't do it. So I just want to give a little update. Um, I have posted this for sale in the group already, EDC long. Um, so, I mean, it, it may sell by the time you see this. My guess is it doesn't um, because I don't, I don't know, maybe somebody out there who's like me hasn't tried it, wants to try it, you know, um, reaches out and wants to buy it but then i'm going to tell them what it's like and we'll see what happens it works pretty good as a spinner um if you're into spinners i think it's pretty good as a spinner um my only problem with it is you can't like really hold it like this and spin it like a spinner you have to kind of palm it and do this and you know i didn't i wasn't looking for a 150 and fifty-dollar spinner and that's not it's not really meant to be one so it's not really worth the you know what i mean so anyway there's my take on the uh ratchet coin heartstone version two um cool idea but i'm definitely sticking with magnets i think it just it, it's the the feedback you get all of that is really really cool um and i just prefer it so Anyway, I was using my Arcane Design space bar here to uh, take it apart and everything because you can easily get to that sort of uh, flathead there with this. And then I had the Phillips head right there. I could pop out and, uh, you know, go to work with that. I also had my fulcrum out earlier, um, both amazing pry bar tools and um yeah just fun little thing so anyway i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later